Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you my perspective on Fenty skin. I'm going to be doing my skincare routine while we talk about Fenty skin. I'm using the Urban Skin Even Tone Cleansing Bar. Fenty skin finally launched. And um, it definitely is the talk of the town for more than one reason. Fenty launched three products. If you bought them individually, they're $88, but there's a set on Fenty Skin for $75. So you save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, some of us were less than impressed with the launch. And mainly it's people who are a little bit further along with their skincare journey. Very much so like Fenty Beauty, Fenty Skin is very beginner based. If you've seen some of my Fenty Beauty reviews, I always say Rihanna does things for the everyday girl. She doesn't want to overcomplicate things. And trust me, skincare is very complicated. I love the fact that all of the products are dual purpose. Rihanna did a phenomenal job in not over complicating and overwhelming someone who's new to the skincare world. So starting off with the cleanser, it retails for $25 and it is a makeup remover slash cleanser. Some of the standout ingredients include green tea, glycerin, fig. We got to talk about the elephant in the room all of the products are fragrance a lot of people who are already on their skincare journey are just like fragrance though now me personally i'm not for fragrance but i'm not against it either let's face it when you go to the mall you know you know i ain't going there when you're trying out a product whether it be a cleanser or a foundation what's the first thing you do you smell it so I understand the premise of adding fragrance to a product because it does give you triggers, whether it's you're triggered badly or whether that scent takes you to a luxurious palace in paradise. That's what scents do for you. That's kind of what you're going to base your decision on. And that's just fat. And the second thing we look for is texture. So. I get why Rihanna would add fragrance to it. One of my favorite cleansers, Youth to the People, that even has a little bit of fragrance in it. Now, if you're very sensitive to fragrances, it's really gonna depend on how your skin reacts to it and what you can handle sensory-wise. To each his own with fragrances, I kind of don't mind it, especially if it's in a wash-off product, but if it's overwhelming, of course is a negative over time will it affect you that that depends on you because again your skin changes throughout the years so what doesn't affect you right now may affect you five years down the road ten years down the road I'm gonna rinse this off and continue on with our chat just to let you know I did get my neck you know how I feel about that another thing is that the cleanser is oil free all of the products really are geared towards oilier skin types I believe Rihanna said that she is oily so it's no surprise that it's gonna cater to her type of skin I'm moving on to toner which brings me to Rihanna's toner so this product was the one that I was most excited about in its fat water it retails for $28 and this is a toner and a serum which is pretty cool it's a little bit thicker than your average toner a lot of toners are very liquidy but there are some thick girls out there I'm just saying biggest conversation about this product was that second ingredient of witch hazel yeah me personally, I left Witch Hazel back in 2019 and I had no plans of revisiting her. Witch Hazel, if you don't know, is an astringent and over time it can be very drying and stripping to your skin. A lot of my favorite estheticians and skincare channels have been kind of skating around this, but I'm going to break it down to you so you know. Witch Hazel, 
on its own, nah, leave it alone. Don't even go for it. It is more so catered towards a oilier skin type. I used to use Witch Hazel regularly. I love the Dixon one and then I switched over to Thayer's. It did not bother me one bit. So for someone who has dry skin, mm, might not be the best thing. I'm gonna go in with my Neogen's Essence. So using Witch Hazel on its own is not really the bee's knees, but when it's formulated with other ingredients, that are a little bit more moisturizing, it's not as bad. I think if we weren't so ingredient conscious, I think Witch Hazel wouldn't have been there and it would have been denatured alcohol. I will bet money on that. And the only reason why I say that is because with Witch Hazel and denatured alcohol, the premise behind that is that it kind of acts like security, it moves everybody out the way in order for the good ingredients to get through and penetrate your skin because alcohol and uh, witch hazel you know it evaporate pretty quickly on the skin but it kind of pushes that oily skin that oil out of the, its way and plus you gotta remember things are formulated a lot better than they were 10 years ago 20 years ago so I don't feel as though Rihanna and her team would have been super lax with it, like saying, oh, let's just put witch hazel in here for nothing. Going into some of the good ingredients, she does have niacinamide, which, you know, helps with dark marks and just evening out your skin tone. So I really appreciate that. And she also has green tea and I think it's cactus leaf water. I wish she would have added a little bit more of that. I kind of wish she would have added something a little bit more hydrating, a little bit of hyaluronic acid, for instance. But if you have dry skin, I would probably avoid the product. Oilier skin types, you might be able to, you know, stick around and have a little party. But I would still use some sort of moisturizing toner or essence either before or after it just to make sure that my skin is moisturized taking my hyper skin vitamin c and we're gonna start talking about the final product which is the moisturizer with spf 30. i fully commend fenty for putting out a spf first so kudos to fenty on that I'm gonna take my snail mucin and i understand that spf takes a long time to get fda approval now this is a chemical sunscreen which i personally love the moisturizer retails for 30 dollars now we got to talk about this packaging the packaging is pretty cool because it is a refillable component so while the full package costs $35 the refill does cost $30 you know she's trying to be a little bit more earth conscious and I applaud that <sighs> I wish she would have did a moisturizer in SPF separately because the amount of SPF that you need on your face is far more than a moisturizer that you need so in my opinion you probably need about uh, four pumps to even be really effective on the skin i would use that indoors like i'm not going out really don't want to use my korean sunscreen i really don't want to use my good moisturizer and that's how i want to protect my skin indoors and then it's also good for people starting out because honestly something is better than nothing um when it comes to spf just using some eye cream because this is a chemical sunscreen Rihanna and her team say it is coral reef friendly so when you go in the water it won't be breaking down the coral reefs and you know Rihanna is an island girl so you want to protect those reefs which are beautiful I went there so she did put some really nice ingredients in here as well she put in some niacinamide that girl had some niacinamide see that's why i feel like rihanna and her team really did do some research using my oh so simple from crave beauty 
she put hyaluronic acid in the moisturizer which i'm like girl why didn't you put it in the fat water like that would have been good <laughs> like you had the resources to do it so <sighs> anyway but she also put aloe juice in there but the interesting product that she did use in there is cornstarch i was a little shocked to see that on the ingredient list but i do know that cornstarch is known for its mattifying properties so again we're bringing it back to the oily skin for those of us with oilier skin types she wants to have something that is a little bit mattifying on the skin which is great and it dimethicone isn't super high on the list which is also nice because that dimethicone gives it the silicone-y like velvety matte look and you know Rihanna she's all about the skin just really shining through. I'm going to be using my Claire's Watery Essence Sunscreen SPF 50. Remember always need two lines. This is the amount of SPF that I normally use. Most people should be you should be using this much but as you saw when I put on my moisturizer opposed to SPF this is why I do wish she came out with two separate ones because you want to make sure that your face is completely protected overall I feel like the line is very very beginner friendly just like Fenty Beauty it's one of those easy peasy grab and go situations it's definitely geared towards oilier skin types so if you do have dry skin I would skip out probably on the fat water of course this isn't going to be the only thing that Fenty Skin launches we already know that but I am excited to see what is next I know she's gonna come out with actives but if she does come out with actives I really do hope that she makes a dedicated SPF and a dedicated moisturizer honestly Rihanna since you got all the funds and the connection I want to see tinted moisturizers there hasn't been a company that has launched tinted moisturizers with a full extensive line so I would love to see 60 shades of a tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 just saying but I think that would be fucking dope if she actually did that with the serums I really think that she's gonna do you know a good vitamin C I think we're gonna see more of that Bayesian cherry SPF 50 separately just saying and hopefully they will come out with these products in a unscented version because I know there are some people out there who just don't want their skin to be super irritated by fragrance with that said everyone is different what works for me may not work for you and vice versa but I am excited to see what Fenty will launch in the upcoming months and years because we already know Rihanna is going to come with that heat I hope you enjoyed watching me put on my skincare and my perspective on Fenty skin check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one stay comfy guys bye